Think Maria Eagle. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I am shocked by the findings the Secretary of State has outlined for the House today, and I can assure him I'm going to be reading the report extremely carefully once it's published. Does the Secretary of State agree that the priority now must be to protect Liverpool Council taxpayers' money, the services the people of Liverpool rely on, and that it is in the public interest to put in place effective procedures for obtaining best value in all that the Council does going forward? And given that the Council is to pay the costs of the interventions as he set out, is there an opportunity if swift um, improvement is made for the intervention to be shorter than the three years he's set out today? I'm grateful once again for the constructive way in which uh, the Honourable Lady has approached this issue like her uh, fellow Liverpool MPs today. Uh, the intervention that I'm proposing is for a maximum of three years and so she's correct that there's no uh, need for the commissioners, if they are uh, put in place, to be there for that full term. If progress is made faster than that, they will report to me on a six-monthly basis and we can review the matter on each of those occasions and I'll keep her and her colleagues uh, fully informed of my decisions on each occasion. She's absolutely right to say that our sole interest here is the people of Liverpool, the taxpayers of Liverpool, ensuring that their public services are delivered properly, that their money is safeguarded, and the city is one in which people feel complete confidence to invest, to do business, and to work with the City Council. And I hope that together, that's exactly what we can achieve.